Now let me give you a quick walkthrough of the source code. So right now you can see we have a couple of folders and files. So this is the first one we have is called Next.js Social. In that we're going to build the entire logic of our application like all the front end code. And here we have this Web3 in that we're going to manage our smart contract. So let's start with the smart contract first. So if I click here and you can see this smart contract is pretty huge. We have written close to 550 lines of code and we have a lot of feature into the smart contract. So we have the admin, we have the couple of state variable. If you want to do any changes in terms of data storage, you can do that as well. And we have the group struct and that we are keeping the information about the group that how many groups are got created by the admin. Then here we have the list of grouping. Then we have the admin. Then we have the creating ID. Then we have the different struct for the user, for the profile, for the messages. That's all we have. And here we have all the structs for the users. Then we have the post struct in that we are keeping all of this information. So in this, you will also learn that how you can manage the array. Because when you define an array in your smart contract struct, there is a little bit of modification you have to do in the front end to get the data. So that's the also you're going to focus and learn in this. Then we have this couple of modifier which we have to run before we actually fetch the contract information. As you remember, we have authentication system in our group messaging. That's also we have to implement. So this is the modifier profile exists. Then we have not self. We have not empty so when someone's try to call a function with an empty data we're going to simply trigger this event we have the only admin because we are restricting certain feature based on the admin like so when the user will purchase their membership we'll allow to make the transaction on the admin address so that's the configuration we are doing here so here we have another modifier which will keep the track of the group members that only group member will have the access of the information and here we have the construction where we are simply updating the admin address means the one who will deploy the contract. You can go with the hard cut value, but I'm going with the default one. Here we have the couple of functions. The first function is create profile. Second one is follow. Then we have unfollow. Then we have create post. Then we have get post. We have get user counter. We have this add get address, get followers, get following, get all post. We have delete post. In this you have to keep in mind because when you are deleting any data you have to do in a proper way otherwise you're going to create uh, address like a zero zero and that's going to create a problem which i will tackle in the project here we have the like post unlike post we have add comments send messages get cheat code we have read messages we have get all up user we have edit post we have get single post is group member we have create group and we are confirming based on the admin we have this join group send group messages get all group get group messages get good details so we have a lot of function and the last one is transfer ether because when the user will purchase the membership we have to transfer the fund so if you want to do the modification you can do that very easily very easily in terms of data so that's the entire smart contract we're going to create together so in this web3 we are simply deploying the contract and i will show you that how you can deploy and run so let's close this one and now let's come back to the front end and here we have the folder and file structure so this is the component section in that we have this global and in that we have multiple sections so this one is for the account this one is for the header this one is for the main body we have for member we have register we have chat we have shop we have single post we have stories as i told you that we are following result model so all you have to do is to simply plug this entire component wherever you want we have the user we have the profiles and we have this global components we have this global components like footer header footer app header chat model component story loader sidebar so these are the global model we have into this you can easily able to do the changes then we have this index we are simply importing all the files and we are simply exporting from here that's the component section then we have the context and it's going to be very huge so here we are keeping the address and the abi of the contract you can literally deploy to any network but first we're going to test out in the local system in our local environment then we're going to do on the test network like polygon or sofali so this is the constant then we have the context and we have written so many code you can see that here we have this one this library utils then we have all of this function is pretty huge so many function we have in here so that's all we're going to write it together it's pretty huge and to close that one now we have the pages so in that you can see that it's a single page application so all the logic which you see that's all getting managed right up here in the index page
whether you talk about creating account detail page like comment that's all happening right up here in this index page and here we have done the configuration for our applications like connecting with the javascript and the context provider so that's our app.js pages here you will have the public and that we have all of these assets we're going to keep it so this is the css file this is the demo images then we have the discord the fonts then we have the images then we have the javascript and here we have the product ad so currently we are promoting couple of products so right now we are promoting two discord server so their image is there then we have the logo so all the companies product we are supporting promoting in the stories so their product we have we have the images of the nft which we are promoting of that particular creator that's what you can find and you will find all the products so this is the two product we are promoting and here we are promoting all of this token so all of the things are dynamic all you have to do is to simply provide the name of the product which you want to promote just drag and drop the image here and mention that in the file which i will show you and here we have all of the video which we are simply promoting that's all you can able to find here all you have to do is to give the exactly name and everything would be working fine so that's the product and here we have the bender it's also look good so that's all asset we're going to keep it here together so it would be very very easy for you and for me to manage the data because this is going to be a static application controlled by smart contract so this is the one we have profile then we have the style here we are keeping all the styles which we have written then we have the utils in that we have written some utility function like converting connecting and all of these things which we're going to write together and now let's talk about the data the ad data so if i come back here in the ad and here you will find all the details about the product which we are rendering in our component so if you talk about the discord ad so right now we have only two you can literally provide the id name brand and the link of the discord server and you can simply render the data in that way you not be dependent on the backend part and if you want to do the editing in your project all you have to do is to do right up here and the data will reflect fine if someone wants to promote their product or discord server in the first place then you can simply copy and paste their product name brand and link on this id one and it will display there in the same way we have the event so we have a couple of events which we are promoting you can give these details and you can simply provide the link same thing for the nfts so here we have all of this data the nft name brand price and link that's all we are reflecting here if you talk about the product so here we have the product only two products we are promoting and you're able to provide the details if you talk about the stories and here we have all the story product which we are story ad which we are running so we have the product one and we have the digital tech the video the brand and you can provide the link so the user can go and they can buy so we have this one if you talk about the token we are doing the same thing with the token we are providing the name and the price and we are simply referring to the location where this particular sale is happening which user wants us to display so this is the ad detail so you can simply do the changes and it will reflect in the front end so everything is working absolutely fine we have no problem in our applications that looks pretty good and here you will have this particular folder called social so if you take this entire source code then you can able to access all of these different pages which you can check which i have already made a video on this particular one so make sure to watch this video in that i have already explained but we're going to build this entire application whatever you have seen together now what i'm going to do is let's deploy that contract and let's test that okay because we have said a lot of things in case you have if you download the source code then what step you have to follow let me show you that first so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to open my terminal and you can see it's already running so first let me stop it i'll simply clear it and let's stop the application from running and let's bring it back so first thing we have to deploy the contract so come back in web3 folder and here you have noticed that we're going to deploy the contract to our local system means localhost so here you have to do this particular configuration you have to provide this particular optimization because if you don't provide the contract will not deploy because and it will open this particular model and here you will find all the network which you want to add so i'll say add a uh, network manually so click here and i can simply provide all of this detail but what i'm going to do is i will come back to the networks and here i can see that i have already connected with the localhost so this is the exact information which you have to provide so this is the exact information first you have to give the name click on this add network then you have to give the name this is the rpc url this is the chain id this chain id is very important because 
this chain ID is very important because if you don't provide your transaction will not take place and here you have to provide the currency so make sure to provide these three or four information and simply save it I have already done that so I don't need to do it if you want to do with the polygon simply you can see do this exactly the same configuration with the polygon so make sure to do this setup now what I have to do is let me close this one back to the application now we're going to simply deploy our contract so close this one open up your terminal and first thing first let's open this one and we have to delete this JSON artifact so if you have make any changes in your contract then you have to simply delete this JSON file because when you will update the contract the ABI will change so now we're going to deploy the contract so first we have to come back here in the web3 folder I'm already into that but if you want to come simply type CD so let me go out of this particular folder and main directory I'll click CD dot dot it will take me to the main directory main directory now if I want to go to this web3 folder I have to say CD web3 and there I am now I have to run my local node so I have to type npx hard hat node this is the exact command you have to run because if you run this it will start your local node so hit enter and it's going to start the local node and it will give you 20 plus accounts so as you can see in my metamask i have imported this all account so this all accounts from here if i show you if you want to import all you have to do is to simply copy this private key and by default metamask will take your first account like next year so first i have to come out of this particular folder now i have to go into this particular web3 folder because there we have the contract and the script this is the script we have to run so let me go to the cd web3 and now we have to simply deploy the contract so let me find the script so this is the script which you have to run so let me explain that what it is first you have to type npx hard at run script so this is the script folder we are into the deploy then we are calling deploy js because this is the app this is the file we want to run here we have defined the network dash dash network to localhost now hit enter the moment you do that it will automatically deploy your contract to your local system and here we got the address so this is the exact address we'll give if you deploy your contract it, this is the exact address you will get so simply copy this address and all you have to do is come back here and here you have to paste the address this is the exact address you will get and when you will deploy your contract it will generate the artifact so right now i have this artifact you will have this as well simply open that one and simply drag and drop here in the context so we have the ABI because here we are importing the ABI so we need that so right now we have the contract ABI and now we are ready for testing our application and contract looks pretty good now what I will do I'll simply come out of this particular folder make sure to run this one if you stop this it will not work so let's type CD and here we are in the main directory then we have to go CD next JS SOCIAL social here we are now we can simply type npm run dev and here we have started the application it's working absolutely fine no issue we have and before i open the application let me show you one thing that make sure to use the exact packages here you can see we are using nomic foundation and added this particular version you have to use the exact version here as well if you look at the front end part here we are using all of these packages make sure to use the exact package and its version as long as you use exact one it will work fine and we're going to build everything from scratch together so where i'm going to repeat it over and over again that you have to use the exact version right so that will keep that will be stick in your head so and we have a function which i have included so admin can call and they can create a membership so what i will do i'll come back here in the context and this is the function we have so come back here and let me scroll all the way down so here you can see that I have a couple of demo texts which I have given to the membership. So this is the call create group. So let's create one by one. So this is the one. It's called web3 and this is the function which I'm going to call it. So this is the function I have attached here. So I have to go back to the header and in header right up here in top header and here I have attached this particular function. So let me comment this one because this function I have attached in the logo okay if you want you can simply build a separate separate page where you can allow back here in the source code section and here you will find all the project which we have worked so far you can simply check one by one and this is the one in which 
I'm going to provide you the source code and the startup file so you can simply come back and make sure to watch the video for having a clear understanding that what exactly you're going to get and you can simply take the source code along with the startup file is also provided to all of you guys so you can simply download the startup file so we can start building in the startup file i have provided all the from here you can able to control all the information about yourself so you can update your name address websites you can provide all of these details here so in this application we have also included a functionality to remember that which tab we have open so if i reload if i reload it's going to remember that which tab it needs to open it's not going to lost so we have on this if i go back to the feed Click on here, we have a beautiful loader. And if I reload the page, it's going to remember that we it has to open the feed component. So we have included that feature as well. So see you in the project very soon. And if you want to take the source code, you can take. And I really want to thank in advance for your kind contribution. So hope you guys have enjoyed this entire walkthrough of the project, which we're going to build together. That will teach you a lot of things. So with that, I'm in this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.